Cheers and salutations. Welcome on all to Chicago Reacts. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that ring bell notification. That way, all of you are made aware we upload new content upon our YouTube channel. And today, 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 we have ourselves a fun video to check out. It is titled, My 1911 Exploded When Guns Go Boom, Episode 10 by Kentucky Ballistics. And already, my neck is feeling a little bit itchy. But you want to know what could alleviate that itch is, hey, by listening to me, you hip cool cats, and by please supporting the original content creators. The original link to this video is in the description box below. We do this for all the videos here for Chicago Reacts because, hey, it's the right thing to do. A lot of time, effort, energy is made into making these awesome, fun videos. So please, please do the right thing. Be awesome and do that because it's because because it's, it's cool but also be sure to subscribe to us as well because that's awesome so yes that's that's what i'm going to say uh but besides all that uh since i'm in charge of the ones and twos let's get ready to check out this video my 1911 exploded when guns go boom episode 10 and since i i i have i am in control of everything i'm gonna pull this video up in a three a two a one let's check it out Wait a second. Why is the camera set up? Why is it recording? I forgot. I gotta do an intro. Ow. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I got something. What do you call prehistoric barbecue? Jurassic pork. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It's funny because I just reacted to uh, the internet historian's uh, Turok Explained on his other channel, Story Mode. I love a good dinosaur joke. Wasn't the greatest, but I say it's awesome. What do you call a dinosaur that's been in a car accident? Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, what do you call? You know what? This is like a dino. This is like an awesome dinosaur fun fun time already. First video, second video, I'm reacted to. There's like dinosaurs in it. It's awesome. It's awesome. You, you can never go wrong with dinosaurs. And just a just a little known fact, I was actually on not one, but three dinosaur expeditions way, way, way back in the day. Two in Montana and one in South Dakota. A long time ago when I was idealistic and full of hope. <sighs> then the world happened. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today we have another episode of When Guns Go Boom. We've tested out a lot of different firearms on When Guns Go Boom, and we've collected a lot of valuable data. But one firearm we have not tested yet is the old reliable 1911. The 1911 has been around for over a hundred years and is tried and true. Two world wars. There we go. Smells like freedom. There you go. It's got two world wars under its belt. That's what you call the world heavyweight champion. That's right. And I, I prefer, and here's the thing, my, my favorite of the world heavyweight championship belts from wrestling was the WCW world heavyweight championship. Belt. It, it just looked perfect. That big old school golden belt. That that was my favorite. The 1911 is a hardy design. It has a metal frame and a metal mm. slide, and it's chambered in 45 ACP. And I carry 45 because it don't make a 46. Damn. Whoa. Yeah. Ah, oh, no. come on. I didn't miss one. Come on. There you go. Man. 45. He didn't miss one. He didn't miss. Five ACP. Oh. It only takes one. Mm -hmm. All jokes aside, I really do like the 1911. It's an American classic and an absolutely beautiful design. And today we are going to put the 1911 through the Kentucky torture test. Nothing has survived yet except me. So this is a Smith and <laughs> 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 
Seriously, folks, if you're not following Kentucky Ballistics on all their social media, please do so. It's entertaining. These videos, it's a lot of effort and energy is made into making them. Good stuff, good humor all around, especially, you know, when we all, when we all need to laugh once in a while. West in 1911, and it is very pretty. And this is an Ivor Johnson zombified 1911, and I can't say the same about it. It kind of looks like a giant booger. So... <laughs> Yeah, it kind of does. Now I have a dilemma. I have two 1911s, and I'm not really sure which one we should test. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna flip a coin. If it's heads, we're going with the Smith & Wesson, and if it's tails, we're going with the Ivor Johnson Booger 1911. Okay, here we go. All right. Mm. That's that. That's Looks that. Like we're going with the Ivor Johnson. Honorable. Honorable. That's what it takes, integrity and honor. Oh, by the way, folks, I'm pretty sure Scott would always say this in his video too, but uh, again, all this, all these tests that you're seeing are being done by a professional. Do not try this at home. Last thing we need to do is see all of you beautiful people in the Darwin Awards, okay? You're too beautiful to go in the Darwin Awards, okay? Just, just remember that. Just remember that, you hip, cool cats. So stay hip and cool, guys and gals. You know what's worse than having a catastrophic failure with your 1911? Spammers, robocallers, and telemarketers. Yeah, uh. yeah. Well, they're not that bad, but they're still pretty bad. But have no fear because Aura is here. Good. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your personal information. I mean, even this guy could find it. Stop stealing everybody's identities! Glorious. Perfect. Or we'll Thank you. Identify data brokers exposing your information and will automatically submit opt out requests on your behalf. They'll also opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. If you swing over to aura.com forward slash Kentucky, you can start your free two week trial and see how many data brokers are exposing your information on the web. You can also find this link in the description down below, or you can scan my QR code. Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't see. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, mm. password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. <laughs> Stop letting people exploit and profit off of your private information. Swing over to Aura.com forward slash Kentucky and start your free two-week trial today. Hey, look, folks, please be careful out there. The Internet can be a beautiful place, but it also can be a very frightening, dangerous place, okay? So um, protect yourselves, protect your identity. It's getting scary out there, folks, but just, just, just protect yourselves, okay? From old Kit Kat. I love doing these ads because I just get to be unnecessarily destructive. <laughs> As you should. You can also find this link in the description down below, or you can scan my QR code. A big thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's video and giving me a reason to throw stuff around. Now, let's go get to it. All right, it's time to get this thing set up. The normal operating pressures for a 1911 are around 40,000 PSI. This little guy right here is going to be producing upwards of 250,000 PSI. That's Good. the spicy meatball! So I'm going to get it locked. I think he stole it from me. That's the spicy meatball. You got to say it properly. It's a little bit more Italian in it. Locked up here in our vice grip. I want to make sure I put a nice cloth in here, though, because... I don't want to mess up my grips. So the goal today is to see what would happen to the operator of a 1911 if it were to have a catastrophic failure. Yeah. So our test subject today is a ballistic dummy lab zombie bus, and we have some hands. Oh, and boy. around our test site here, we have a ton of cinder blocks. And then on the top, I'm going to put this piece of leg sand. <laughs> you know, Scott should also be careful with the dinosaur jokes because birds are their descendants. The real thing. <laughs> okay, we are all set up and ready to go. All we have to do now is pull back that hammer. There is a string attached to the trigger, and I'm going to go hide behind my engine block. You will notice that the zombie kind of has an advanced grip 
on the 1911, his fingers don't move so well, so I just kind of laid the left hand on there. Not gonna lie, that got me. That got me. They, I guess, I guess Scott did a grand thumb. Got me. They got me. Okay. This is when it all goes to crap. Mm hmm. Here we go. If you are not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Like, like now. Like, do it now, or I'm not gonna pull the string. Do it now. Okie dokie. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Hold on. I'm in charge of the, the, the keys. Hold on. Whoa. Look what happened to that pinky finger. Look at the explosion. Hold on. Damn. Oh, that's gotta suck. That guy's that guy's ugh. His hands are ruined. Yeah. Ooh. Be careful out there, folks. Seriously. Be careful. Whoa, look what it did. No, it's a test, but geez. Oh, man. Seriously, folks, be careful out there, okay? You know, just just take good care of yourselves and just, just always remember safety, 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 okay? And don't do this at home. Seriously, don't do this at home. I, I don't need to see Brandon do any Darwin videos. Come on. Come on, I don't want to see any of you beautiful people in there. Wow. Okay, we have some smoke and oh my gosh. Okay, um, <laughs> this is interesting. I've never seen this before. We uh, had something blow through this cinder block. Like if you look right here, um, we have some damage. And boy, are our hands damaged. Look at that. Oh, ah, yeah, that's broken. Yeah, yeah your finger. Oh, your finger's not supposed to do ah. that. What about the other hand that was laying on the other side? Oh, oh, all right. Well, if you had a catastrophic failure, with a 1911, I'm gonna say you are gonna be missing some digits. The gun itself. There is that one of your pinky fingers is gonna be fully exposed. It'll have it'll do its own only fans thing. So there. Yeah, we're missing a big part of it. Um, uh, if you look from this. Angle, wow, it's completely destroyed. You can see that we're missing quite a bit of the 1911. Okay, I. Reviewed the slow mo footage, and it looks like if you had a catastrophic failure with a 1911, you're probably not going to have any fingers left. Clear a few of these off here. I, I think we all can agree that it, that is a very true scientific experiment. Yeah, so so be careful, be careful out there, and what you purchase, uh, if you if you if you have your own firing range out there, just double check and triple check to make sure that you don't have a a spicy meatball around or that you got sold something that is or could lead to an epic catastrophic failure. So, you know, just, just, just be aware always. That's, that's what I'm learning here. Just, just be careful. How high I can throw this thing. Go. <laughs> Go. Why did I think it was going to fall down? He just, he, he wasn't gonna throw it up, just he just threw it upwards and away. So Alright, never mind. Never mind. 
pretty low quality cinder blocks. Yeah. They're almost there. What the heck? Where do we get these cinder blocks from? The dollar what, what? <laughs> I've got everything cleared off the table. Our microfiber rag is blown to pieces. I mean, just holes blown through it. You can see here that pretty much everything went downward. That is absolutely insane. That barrel is thrashed and so is the slide and the frame. And I believe pretty much all of it went into the hands. Uh, and the slow-mo footage, you can literally see like the pinky just dangling around. This one is extra fried. Mm -hmm. I mean, if this is original- it's, 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 it's Kentucky fried in the great state of Kentucky. See, I got fun jokes. Oh, what do you, knock it off. Put down the tomatoes. That was funny. It was funny. It was funny. It was funny because it was funny. You know, this is extra crispy. That's I mean, right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can see the bone. So for the cinder blocks, one of them was pretty damaged. And that's because the end of the barrel shot off and then hit the cinder block and then bounced back on the table. I found a piece of the spring and the other piece of it is inside this. I'm pretty sure this is called the reserve plug. Mm. If I'm wrong, I'm sure you will correct me in the comments section. Um, but yeah, this is still holding our spring. It's pinched off. Then we have several other pieces that I've recovered. Mr. Zombie here, he still looks just as handsome as he did before. All but it right. doesn't really matter because now he don't have no hands. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> hammer still work? Oh, nope, it nope. does not work anymore. Oh wait, we're out of battery. <laughs> that worked. We have some very sharp edges, but I really want to take a closer look at this barrel because that is just nasty. Damn. Now that I have this completely taken apart, we can have a closer look at it. As for our frame, we are missing the front portion, but the trigger and the hammer still work. Okay. The barrel is completely destroyed. All right. And you can see that most of the spicy meatball was in this area right here. Spicy meatball. Huh? And then as for the slide, it's pretty much the same thing. You can see that this is completely blown outwards and the barrel had pretty much become one with the slide. So I think it's safe to say that if a 1911 had a catastrophic failure, it would not take you very long to figure that out. What other firearms would you like to see me test on when guns go boom? Let me know in the comment section down below. So you're chopping. <laughs> Wood, and you're trying to watch YouTube at the same time. Probably not a good idea. Oh. Whoa! Mm. I'm feeling that. You know, I just, I just, hey, you know, every time he brings up the table, Devon. Get the tables. And I have to quote the Joker from uh, the 1989 Batman film. Where does he get all these wonderful toys? Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. I got today's table. But you all thought I forgot in the last video to destroy the table. It's not going to get out of it that easy. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Ballistics Breakdowns, Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and X. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. As you should. Now listen, folks, the original link to this video is in the description box below, so that way you can find all those links. Come on, we do this for all the content creators we react to here for Chicago Reacts. So be awesome and help them out. Because look, look, otherwise we don't get fun stuff like this. What's he going to do?
As always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time. Hold on. It's right here where the skeleton identity theft phantom realized that he'd done effed up by coming into the great state of Kentucky, which is why he's now being squashed and getting the, well, lesson of a lifetime. <laughs>i think we learned an important lesson so first of all i think i said this before already but i'll say it again um all these awesome tests that we see from all the channels especially when it comes down to using firearms or weapons hey it's this is being done by professionals so don't do any of them at home okay seriously be smart number two please support the original content creators shout out to kentucky ballistics this was a fun video and uh, a catastrophic failure for a 1911 um my neck isn't itching, but my fingers are, and I gotta tell you, um, just just be careful out there. To 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 all the firearm experts, just you know, double check and triple check that you're purchasing the right thing and not getting some sort of spicy meat to bola to go boom. Because I don't, I'm I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's it's not gonna be good for your fingers. We need our hands for a lot of things to drink beer, to to drink some good whiskey, eat some good food. Hold, hold hands, open doors, start a car, you know, etc. There's, there's a lot that we got to use these digits for, surprisingly. So uh, just remember, uh, take good care of yourselves and each other. Drink water. Keep your heads on a swivel. And as always, keep on winning. My name is Kit. This has been Chicago Reacts. Take good care of yourselves. And uh, I'll see all of you hip cool cats on the flip side. Just stay awesome, as you should. Oh,